What is up, my XRP brothers from another mother? This is Rob with the XRP, and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island, another gorgeous day down at the beach, five out of five, but man, we got some chubby rain headed our way, super dark clouds. Currently, we got XRP trading at, knocking on 52 cents door. That's kind of where we topped out before when we first made this move, but currently it's at 51.5174. On the one day, it is a bit in the oversold region. However, on the four hour charts, it still looks like there's room to go up a tad. We shall see how the day finishes up. We're coming to the close of the end of the week here. And on the uh, uh, weekly time frame, we still have room to grow, but just a little bit there. And on the monthly time frame, it's looking beautiful. Uh, that MACD, the green monthly golden green candle that I'm waiting for, the buy and go to the beach, put a fork in it, it's kissing across on that MACD right there. So right there. So is June going to be our month? I don't know, people. I tell you, this is, I'm, I'm still super fired up. And by the way, yes, my truck of Fiat did arrive. I finally have it moved over into Kraken. I'll be deciding what I'm going to be doing with that. My first deployment here over the Man, that guy's flying. Over the weekend, uh, might do a, a bite of the apple tomorrow, so I'm gonna be studying a chart, so what I'm gonna do. I will let you guys know, so a lot of fun. And this video will kind of give you some insight as to the price direction in the short term, what we could see. All right, and by the way, is anyone else besides me doing some window shopping? <laughs> I am. I mean, everything. Real estate, yachts, exotic cars, Bose trains, auto, automobiles. What's that? Planes, trains, and automobiles. That great movie with uh, who was in that? I can't remember. In the news, this is good and juicy. Bloomberg says, "Let this sink in, guys." Bloomberg says, "How the Fed will have make bank transfers truly instant? Truly instant? Who do you think they're going to use?" We know the answer to that. As XRP holders, we all know the answer. Zero doubt in my mind anyway. And you know what, guys? I made, and I hope to God it's my last calendar. I've been making countdown calendars since I got into XRP. Every last one of them have been wrong, so don't go by my advice on this one. But my countdown uh, clock, the new one, expires at the end of September. So I'm optimistic that this case will be over anywhere between this month, July, very latest, the end of September. Anything can happen in this space, so it wouldn't surprise me a bit at all. But let's hope that is the final countdown calendar uh, that I have to make. And thank you, by the way, um, over the last 28 days, this channel has received over 80,000 views. We are growing by leaps and bounds, and I'm only 150 subs away from 2,000 subs. So if you are new to the channel, if you would, hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notification, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you're feeling for a TGIF. I'm feeling fine. Better get this done and over with and head back to the ranch because that... The clouds look dark and ominous. I actually like it. This is what we're getting into our rainy season. I love it. Kind of gets these heavy pounding rains. And it'll rain about this time of day, and then the sun will come back out, uh, which kind of creates a steam bath. Now into the comments. We've got great comments, as always. Let's just kind of slide on over real quick. In the comments, Damien says, asked about, um, can you talk more about hooks, technology? Uh, and I, I, I will in the future. I've been studying up on that, starting to get some information. I do believe that Hooks is going to be a game changer for this space to A, just to uh, increase the price of XRP. So I will let you guys know. I saw a video on it yesterday. It looks really interesting. I know David Schwartz is super, super excited about that. And then I'm getting a lot of comments as well. Uh, can you talk about the potential re percent reward on AMA, AMM? I did watch one video on that probably about a month ago. It did look sweet. So I do not have an exact number as, as yet, but I do think that it's going to be quite handsome. And again, David Schwartz says he, if it were him, he's going to allocate anywhere between 25 to 30 percent of his bags to be on the safe side. But yeah, I'm going to be following both of those really uh, closely. I will, will be reporting on them. Simon says, 
Go buy some more XRP. No, I'm just kidding. Simon says in the comment, he says, HODL 2000 XRP minimum. HODL 2000 XLM minimum. For a minimum of 10 years, you will be mega rich. And with that said, for me personally, I talked about this a couple of times already. Kind of like the opposite of BC Backard, sell 65, HODL 35. At the very max max, I'll sell 35, HODL 65. I imagine it could be a lot less because what my needs are currently are not all that great, even with all the kind of toys I want to buy. Uh, but um, for me, I think there is a highly likelihood that I, if I buy HODL 65% of my bags and upwards, I think there's a highly likelihood I may never sell my XRP and just pass it on to my, my sons, uh, being that, that we'll be able to live off the interest and that the appreciating price of XRP, what it will be in the future, whether it's in 2024, 25, 27, 2030, and that we'll all be able to make it a massive, really generous uh, passive income through both automated market makers and also this has me equally excited the flare network and delegating f assets on their system that you can wrap and delegate xrp super excited to be able to do that currently you can do it with flare songbird and xdc over on the songbird network i gotta get busy on both of those i guess i can be staking uh, be doing that and then the last one is just through staking so uh yeah i will keep you guys posted up on the ama but anyway, that's kind of what I'm seeing that I'm going to be doing. You guys comment down below. I'd be curious what you're going to be doing as well. It may not be that I even sell. You know, I talk about max 35%. You know, it may be, you know, I, and again, I will probably be aggressive and be doing some swing trades. And I'll be, I'll be paying taxes. I'm fine with that on my swing trades. But, uh, you know, there's probably in the beginning I'll be taking some uh, a little greater percentages. I always talk about take your initial investment out. And always say, there's a reason for that. And then you're playing with house money. But always say, everything in your life, if you can work for a position of strength, one, a lot less stress in your life. And then that gives you power to be able to, to make the right decision and also gives you negotiating power to make the right decision. So position of strength is, is just that you're not under financial duress. So FYI. In the category of, you know when this case is over, when... Fill in the blank, comment down below. I'll tell you what mine is. Back in April, this is 100% juicy. Back in April, Ripple had an IPO event. What do you say? And out of that IPO event, the best of the best of the institutions and so forth, the big boys showed up and have interest in this. And this is really sweet. I wish I would have been able in a position to take advantage of, of this. A, you have to be an accredited investor. And B, you have to have cash on the sidelines to do this. But the IPO price is looking to be at, for Ripple, get this, around $600. At the time, you could currently have bought it around $30. That is a sweet, massive 20x return on your money in just a matter of a few short years. Unbelievable. Uh, I didn't see... Um, okay, this is back to the title of this episode. I didn't see this XRP uh, coming. Guarantee that it will make you smile and want to buy more, which I'll be doing this weekend. Uh, and this comes from BC Backer. And, and the reason why I had this me, you know, smiling and, and, and really excited today, because BC Backer is extremely conservative on all of his predictions all the time. So he says, you know, we have two options that we can move in on two different time frames. Uh, and so he's talking about both of them. And he says that one, we have this thing what's called a spring, not a spring up, but a spring down that we could actually wick down. I've been talking about this for some time that we could wick down and it could wick down into like the 30s, in which case then we could have this really high spike up. And I'll be talking about these numbers. And the other uh, option B is that it doesn't happen and we have more of this slow grind, grind, grind. And that move does not happen until September. So it either happens in June or happens in, in September. So we'll go over those. Either way, it's a win-win for us, okay? Um, uh, let's see, and he's still in favor of the uh, last leg down uh, uh, being that, and so does Coins Kid. Coins Kid right now, he says he's got some cheeky bid orders in that 38 cent range. And that is why with my new uh, uh, bag of Fiat, I want to actually have some orders down there as well. And I might take a bite of the apple where it is right now, because again, anything that's around two, four dollar, there's an old saying that says, don't trip over pennies on your way to dollars. It is so true. Okay, BC Backer says, here are the targets. I want to keep this under 10 minutes. He says that, you know, that we can springboard uh, to 80 cents from where we are now. The couple of targets we do need to tackle and get over. Like once we get to over 60, it's a springboard up to about 80, 83, okay? But then from there, this happens in a short period of time that we could go from 80 cents to over all-time high. 
and this is just through his fractal overlay of the 2017-2018 move the XRP main. So 80 cents to over four dollars. Beautiful. I love that. And it could happen a period of five to seven days. Could happen in June. So sweet. And the other thing is that then at that point we may have a pullback retracement for as people take profits. That could see us in region anywhere from a dollar eighty to two forty before we make that next leg. Uh, tackling that seven to twelve dollars the sea legs so this is where it gets really really exciting because a lot of times i was looking at his fractal scene they never showed that upper end and this video i was able to take a look at it that second big pump that xrp does first it will hit over his target what he always talks about is 13 dollars. in this case the fibs hit 16 dollars has a pullback to test that $10 range, 11 to $10, which acts as that magic number 10, as we all well know, before blasting off to $27. And you never see BC Packer talking about $27. He didn't mention it by number, but it was up in his fractals. Again, that coincides with uh, uh, Coins Kids, his target for 27, as well as e -Grag Crypto in that 27 mark that 27 dollar mark could happen in at the end of july i mean at the middle of july anywhere this move happening from june 15th to let's say july 15th can you actually imagine having a 27 dollar xrp by mid-july that just like pfft, blow me away and in terms of sec delay this also gets kind of interesting uh sec uh, uh delay the sec jp morgan emails we're not talking about the Hen henman emails here but the jp morgan is equally as important for obvious reason them being one of the largest banks and then the first word that comes to your word is collusion and they postpone postpone that date till june 30th and it makes you think does that mean that they're just kind of giving them more time to do a settlement because that's one more bit of uh, juicy news that they do not want coming out they don't want him henman emails on uh, coming out and they definitely probably do not want the jp morgan jp morgan probably doesn't want it out there as well so anyway i'm loving that 27 dollars price target you guys comment down below i'd like to hear what you guys think everybody have a great day i'll see you guys in the next video peace out